Hey guys, welcome back to another video of C and C Bros. Today we're going to be predicting who we think is going to win in the first round of the playoffs, and we're going on the current um, standing so far because I know the NBA season is going to resume, and it's it's in a month, so we're just going to go ahead and make a video about it. Yep, yeah. and we're going to break these into parts each round. Okay, so the first round we have Milwaukee versus Orlando. Milwaukee's going to win 4-0. Four, sweep. 4 Sweep. They're going to definitely sweep. Giannis has been a beast this year. Um, Chris Middleton had that 50-point game earlier this season. Yeah. Orlando is 30-35. and 35. Not the best record, but Milwaukee only lost 12 games. Yeah. And there's no way they're going to lose to Milwaukee. Or no. There's no way they're going to lose to Orlando. Orlando. Okay. Next we have Toronto versus Brooklyn. Okay, if KD was bad, if KD was not injured, then this year Brooklyn, Brooklyn would be pretty good. Yeah. But he is injured, so that stinks for Brooklyn. And Toronto, everybody thought they were going to have a good season without Kawhi. Kawhi. And they're like, they're going to be trash, but Pascal was like, no. <laughs> okay, so they thought Kawhi, they thought they were only good because Kawhi came, and once he left... They wouldn't be the same as they were last year. Uh, no. Yeah. It's Pascal Siakam, Kyle Lowry, and Fred Van Vliet. Everybody on the, ev literally everybody on Toronto team has been amazing. Yep. Like the bench players have been really good. OG on Nobi. Yeah. Terrence Davis, Chris Boucher. Kyle Lowry. I already said him. Oh. <laughs> Marcus Saul. Okay. Boston. And Philadelphia. Philadelphia wasn't as good as many people thought they were going to be. Yeah, because a lot of injuries came along, and Ben Simmons is still, not you know, He can't shoot threes. He can't shoot. He can't shoot jump Al shots. Al Horford didn't have such a good season as many people thought he would. Mm. And, yeah. Mm. So, I'm going to have Boston win 4-2. Oh, and also Kimball Walker for Boston is definitely a better fit Oh, wait, than we forgot to say. We forgot to say. Oh, so, yeah. So, I'm going to have Toronto winning 4-2-2. Two, two. I'm going to have Toronto winning 4-2. 4-2. And for Boston, and, to Bo and for Boston, Kimba Walker is definitely a better fit than Kyrie because Kimba shares the ball more than Kyrie. And, and he's at the same time making sure his self is, like, really good. And I have Boston winning 4-2. I have Boston winning 4-1. Okay. So Miami versus Indiana. 4-2. And the five, the fourth seed and the fifth seed. Okay, so this is a pretty good one, but I have to say I think Indiana's gonna win. Um, yeah, because the two games they played so far were pretty close. The first game they only lost by one, and the other game they lost by fourteen. That game wasn't that close. Um, so I have Indiana winning four three. I have Miami winning just because Bam Adebayo is probably going to dominate in his in the playoffs, and Jimmy Butler is going to help him. Uh, so I have Miami winning four three. But Indiana has Victor Oladipo back. They have Demontis Sabonis. Do they have young Duncan Robertson? Do they have young Tyler Hero? Do they have young Bam Adebayo? Do they have amazing prime? No, not prime. But do they have good Jimmy Butler? Do they have like? Good, Derek Jones. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Like, okay. Fan thing, they're actually winning four two, but I'm still having them win four three. Okay, so next for the Eastern Con or for no for the Western Conference, we have Los Angeles versus Memphis. I have Los Angeles winning four one. I have Los Angeles winning four zero. Oh. Well, because Los Angeles did lose to them one time by seventeen. So I mean. But I, mean, but, I mean, they do have playoff LeBron, so, I mean. Playoff like, LeBron is, like, amazing. Come back 60 years later in a time machine. You and, and he's still, still around. around. He's st and he's in the playoffs. He might he's not be a beast in the regular season, but playoff. I mean, he's a beast anywhere. He's LeBron James. Let's be honest. But he can't steal golf when Steph Curry. What? Steph Curry plays golf. What do you mean by that? You can't steal golf from Steph Curry? He said he's a beast anywhere. I mean on the court. 
Oh, any time on the... Oh, gosh. Okay, next round, we have Los Angeles versus Dallas. Okay. Um, Los Angeles, if they could have Paul George and Kawhi playing at the same time, that would be pretty good. <laughs> um, Dallas has been pretty good this season, but I still have Los Angeles winning 4-2. Four, 4-2. Two. Four, two. I have Los Angeles... I have Dallas winning. No, I have Los Angeles winning four, four three. Wow. Luke is gonna bring them into Game Seven. Okay. Okay. Denver versus Houston. Denver. Jokic has been really good. This yeah. Season, even though he was a little. Here's what I think about Jokic. Coming into the season. Yeah. Here's what I think about Jokic. If Jokic was fast. Yes, if he was... He would be amazing. If he was fast and he didn't run out of energy he, easily. He's a center. He got shooting down. He got paints running down. He got rebound. Well, he, he got defense. He got shooting down. You just said he got shooting down. But he don't got speed. He doesn't have speed. He, it's not... He, do, he don't got speed. <laughs> he don't got speed. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have, I have Denver winning four... I have Denver winning 4-2 against Houston. I have Houston winning 4-3. Because Houston's small ball lineup with Russell Westbrook and James Harden mm -hmm. and, like, P.J. Tucker and all Robert that stuff. It, and the fact that they don't have a center run and P.J. Tucker at center, or I think that's what's happening. Yeah. It's pretty good, actually. But I mean, their defense is off. Their scoring is amazing. Defense, not very not very good because I mean, they, they don't got Robert Covington. Yeah, that's probably like one of the only defensive players in their lineup. Russell Westbrook. Yeah, but Okay, okay maybe there's more defense, but they're gonna win four. But they were only like two games away. So I mean it's barely Yeah. Happy. Yes, so so it's act so like kinda can't be arguing who's gonna win because no. Okay, they're pretty the, close. For the final round, we have Utah versus Oklahoma City. I have Oklahoma City winning 4-2. I think Oklahoma City was really, really good. Yeah, Oklahoma they're better than the Dallas Mavericks. And yeah. many people thought Dallas Dallas was going to be better than Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. But Oklahoma City with P, with not not PJ Tucker. Um, Chris, Chris Paul? Paul. I don't know how I got them mixed up. I, they played for the Rockets. Maybe they played with, with yeah. each other. So. Yeah. But Chris you were Paul just about PJ Tucker too, so. has been amazing this yeah, season. Yeah, with Shea, like and Steven he Adams. was almost unstoppable. He was unstoppable. Yeah, with all those extra teammates, their squad has been amazing. And he's been really clutch this season. Yeah. So, but I can't really say that they are gonna be. You know what? I can say they're gonna be Donovan they're Mitchell. They're only Rudy one game away. They're literally one game away. Um, From time, there's... there's so, you know what? Oklahoma... I have Oklahoma City winning 4-2. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was part one. We're, We're going to do part two, two once round one is over next month. Next next month. So, see you guys in the next video. Uh, like, subscribe. Yeah, like, and subscribe. See you later. See you next time. Peace. Peace.